Every city or village produces millions of tons of wastewater. Spent water from residences that carry body wastes, excreta, food remains and laundry wastes to name a few. Similarly, industries spew commercial wastes through wastewater. All such wastewater is called sewage. Have you ever wondered where all this sewage produced by us goes? It certainly cannot be just deposited as it is into rivers or the sea. Sewage is first treated by microbes that are naturally present inside it before it can be safely disposed of in rivers and streams to avoid polluting these water bodies. That is why the Ministry of Environment and Forests has produced the construction of a large number of sewage treatment plants under the Ganga Action Plan and Yamuna Action Plan to save major rivers like the Ganga and Yamuna. In India, microbes are already treating gallons of wastewater inside several sewage plants around the country every day. Let's take a look at how microbes help in sewage treatment. Microbial treatment of sewage usually takes place in two stages, primary and secondary treatment. In the primary stage, the objective is to remove coarse solids and other large and small particles found in sewage. The first step of primary treatment involves filtration, which is followed by grit removal inside a primary settling tank. All the floating debris is removed by sequential filtration, whereas the grit, such as coarse soil or pebbles, is removed via sedimentation. During sedimentation, most organic and inorganic solids settle while floating materials like grease and plastic rise to the surface and are skimmed off. The settled solids are called primary sludge, while the floating material comprises primary effluents. Primary effluents are now transferred from the primary settling tank to large aeration tanks for secondary treatment, also known as biological treatment. Secondary treatment aims to reduce organic matter in the effluents. In the aeration tanks, the effluents are constantly agitated mechanically and oxygen is pumped into them. As a result, aerobic bacteria naturally present in the effluents grow into flocks, which are mesh-like structures formed by groups of bacteria in association with fungal hyphae or filaments. In the presence of oxygen, these growing aerobic microbes consume the organic matter present in the effluents. This secondary treatment reduces the BOD or biochemical oxygen demand of water. BOD is an important measure of water quality. It refers to the amount of oxygen needed by bacteria and other microbes to oxidize all the organic matter in one liter of water. The BOD of drinking water should be less than 0.5. However, the BOD of raw sewage can be as high as 600 milligrams per liter. That is, the greater the BOD of wastewater, the more polluted it is. Also, it is an indicator of the amount of organic matter present in water. Secondary treatment is continued till BOD decreases considerably. Once this is accomplished, the effluents are transferred to another aeration tank where the flocks of bacteria are gradually allowed to sediment. This sedimented part of sewage is known as activated sludge, which is pumped into large tanks called anaerobic sludge digesters. Here, 
anaerobic bacteria digest the bacteria and fungi present in the activated sludge and produce a mixture of gases such as methane, hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide. This mixture of gases is also called biogas and is used as fuel since it is inflammable. Methane is the main gas produced from sewage treatment and also serves as fuel. It is used to produce heat in homes and factories. The sludge left after digestion of both aerobic and anaerobic bacteria is used as manure and is called activated sludge. The effluents that now remain from the secondary treatment plant are now fit to be released into natural water bodies like rivers and streams. However, a small part of the activated sludge is pumped back into the aeration tank to serve as inoculums for subsequent treatments. Though the amount of sewage produced increases every year with the population increase and rapid urbanization, microbial treatment of sewage remains the most effective method to date.